Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, just want to say huge hello and thank you to all the new subscribers. Hello obviously to all the old ones. Uh, thank you for subscribing. It is appreciated. Now hope you're well obviously through the hard times. Um, I think everybody wants to get back to normal life now but when that will be I don't think anybody knows unfortunately. So we just got to plod along, do what we can do and make the best of it. Um, had some fantastic comments recently about the videos, the McLaren especially, uh, the customer was over the moon with it, so that's the most important thing, he was happy. The van setup tour has gone down really well, a lot of people seem to have enjoyed that and knowing what's inside, so if you have got any comments please let me know. There are some more changes due on the vehicle, exterior and interior, so there will be another video due. Um, we've got some new wheels for it, we've got a new front end for it, um, it's having a full graphics design done. so. That will come in due time. Obviously, once all the lockdown is done, that will get done. Um, so today's video, we are going to talk about shampoos. Now, I've had four or five different people asking me to do a video on shampoo, so we will do it. Um, why do I carry four shampoos? What are the differences between the shampoos? And why do I use different shampoos? So let's talk about shampoo. Now, if you've seen my van tour video, you're already going to know what shampoos I carry. Um, we're just going to discuss why I carry them and their purpose, obviously. Um, first on the list is naturally going to be Purple Velvet. Now, if you haven't tried this, go and get yourself a bottle. You won't be disappointed. I will also add, in case you don't know, that it is free shipping on the Autobrite website at the moment while we're in lockdown. So free shipping is always a bonus, everyone. Nobody likes paying for shipping, let's be honest. Um, Purple Velvet smells absolutely amazing. Luxurious suds gloss it's slick to work with um, it's my go-to shampoo for most vehicles that are dark colored that are not protected by ceramics or waxes or anything like that um, I do have some customers that don't have any protection on the vehicles so that is my go-to shampoo for their vehicle now next on the van would be banana gloss um, it smells of bananas hence the name now it doesn't contain the sud quality that purple velvet carries um, the suds compared to this this wins all day long gloss side of things this will win all day long um, I use this as a designated for light colored vehicles or so silvers whites uh, you really silvery blues purely because of the gloss um, obviously everybody when you clean the car wants it to look shiny and glossy so my idea is to use the products that are designed to do that so banana gloss is my go-to for light colored cars hence why i use purple velvet for dark colored vehicles um great product if you haven't tried it say go get some it is on offer the next on the list will be citrus pearl um non-gloss enhancing cleaning shampoo it's great cleaning capabilities brilliant suds um no gloss enhancers so it's designed to work with matte vehicles i know some of the alfa romeo giulietta's left with matte paint a lot of manufacturers now are using matte wheels for instance so you don't want to wash them with gloss enhancing products because matte's not designed to be obviously gloss um i will use it on every vehicle that is getting a machine polish to be fair or pretty much a hand polish as well to be fair um, because why would you want to add gloss enhancers when you're going to take an abrasive polish to the paintwork it doesn't make sense you want that paint as pure as you can get it ready for any kind of correction work I will also use it on wheels um, whether they're gloss or not purely for the extra cleaning power um, it works brilliantly alongside bright gel very cherry in the sense of cleaning the wheels with the wheel brushes mitts and so on so yeah it's a great product and again it's in my go-to I have to have it so the final shampoo on my van is the new ceramic infused shampoo um, great product high gloss very very good protection side of things it works fantastically with the new ceramic range um, this wax and magic seal um, very very slick to work with on the paintwork side of things I have one big negative about it though um, I can't get my head around this and it just doesn't feel right the sud side of it there is none um, I've tried it many many ways yes it foams up when you first use it within a minute the suds are gone so you are standing there with what looks like a bucket of water washing a car I've had customers question it I've had their neighbors come out 
and look in disgust and then question it and then you explain it and they're okay but trying to wash a vehicle with what looks like just water is a mind confusing thing um i can't get my head around it as much as i love the shampoo and it is my go-to for cars that have been previously ceramic coated um to just to maintain that coating to add the hydrophobic side of it and keep it topped up um as best as it can be it's just mind-boggling trying to wash a car with no suds um because let's face it everyone that washes a car loves suds whether you're five years old and washing it with your dad with fairy liquid or full-on detailer you want suds it's what everyone wants so trying to wash a car without suds is just it just doesn't work um now i've entered a little bit of a predicament because if you saw my care package video last week you will see that i also received a bottle of bane blade um which is their ph neutral shampoo now i need to find a space for this on the van absolutely fantastic shampoo i used it for the first time the other day it's incredible um the fact it's ph neutral means it's also very good for ceramic coatings as well so if i don't choose to wash with this one or the vehicle's been waxed for instance being the fact that bane blade is ph neutral is good because you don't risk damaging the coatings or wax or anything like that so yeah i need to now find a space for bane blade um fantastic product smells brilliant gloss is incredible and the suds are incredible as well um as much as it sounds odd but they're very soft and fluffy um when you put the wash me up you can tell the difference between any of the other shampoos with bane blade so i can understand why it's a couple of people's personal favorites um now that's the main shampoo side of it done now they did bring out a shampoo for a limited edition time um that smell absolutely amazing i think i'll speak for everyone when i say this because i'm sure anybody that purchased a bottle of this will agree that it's out of this world um and it makes you hungry foxy and matilda's breakfast cake um incredible smelling shampoo gloss and suds i don't really know i'll be honest i've not really used it i bought two bottles and i've still got a bottle and three quarters so it's not been tested as such it wasn't bought for that i purchased it more just to let customers smell it anyone that visits the workshop most people like smelling the products and smelling this is great because it is just a great smelling product um yeah so you need to make some more smelling shampoos guys now we haven't spoken about luxury suds um another one of the also bright shampoos great product i have had a bottle of it didn't replace it personally didn't feel the need to um because of having all the other shampoos the yes luxury suds is a wash and wax shampoo but i think the protection side of it is so minimal that it's not worth having um i'd rather just reach for purple velvet or banana gloss i most of the time finish a vehicle with elegance p64 or occasionally liquid gloss um while i've still got it so it wasn't something that i needed to purchase again to be honest it's not a product i think fits in the lineup anymore with their products um the way it's going with the ceramic infused stuff so that's my opinion though don't shoot me anybody that is my opinion because i know some of you do like luxury suds um that's it for this video obviously there's not much more we can talk about shampoo side of things um if you do have any comments requests for videos reviews anything please drop it in the comments box and we'll have a look at getting it done i have had a couple of people asking for a full deep wheel clean and sealant video we'll try and get that done in the next few days if possible um, other than that if you could like subscribe comment so on so forth stay safe and we'll see you on the next video